Hi, welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Hadley Streng, um, president of the Grand Haven Area Community Foundation. All right, welcome. Hey, thank you, happy to be here. So tell me a little bit about the foundation and what is it exactly? Yep. The Community Foundation is a public charitable organization. Um, we are here to serve Northwest Ottawa County, mm -hmm. but even a little further into Western Michigan. Uh, so we inspire philanthropy by individuals, families, corporations, uh, organizations, and serve as the steward of their funds um, for charitable donations and legacies. You've been the president for, you know, a little while now, mm -hmm. took over for Holly Johnson. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about kind of how that became that you were now the president. Sure. Well, my involvement with the Community Foundation goes back many years to when I was in high school. So I'm a graduate of Grand Haven uh, High School. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation offered a challenge grant to any community foundation in the state of Michigan that if the foundation were to establish what they called a youth project mm -hmm. um, or youth committee, that they would receive matching funds for what was raised. So Grand Haven Area Community Foundation uh, took that challenge grant sure. and formed a youth committee of the foundation. So I had the opportunity to be part of that from the start. Uh, wow. So students from Grand Haven and Spring Lake mm -hmm. were on that. We raised the funds to receive the match and then also got the chance after we established the committee to be able to grant some of that out. Perfect. And so it's still going strong today. It is. I've it's some students almost, that are part of it. It's 20 students are on it now mm -hmm. and they rotate every three years. Uh, so new ones come on and, and some go off. So it's a, usually a three year term, but not, not always. And it's going on its 30th year. Awesome. So That's amazing. Very, very great way to teach about philanthropy. Sure. So the kids at that involve. age are starting to learn about philanthropy and the foundation and how vital it is for the community. Absolutely. And it, it's actually what had an impact on me many years later, mm -hmm. wanting to switch to a career that was more with a mission-based organization. Sure. So I switched uh, to work at a healthcare system mm -hmm. where I oversaw the strategic planning uh, marketing communications as well as their foundation um, so when the opportunity uh, became available at the Grand Haven Area Community Foundation um, my skills from where Just I had been right yeah. to what they were looking for were a natural fit and being able to come back to the community mm -hmm. And to have that history that was there and then bring it with you, that's amazing. It's, it's, it's been great. So I've been here about six months now. Tell me a little bit about the benefits of the foundation and when people invest or they leave legacy or they, you know, set up things, how does that work and what is the importance of it? The, well, the foundation, um, we have three main areas where uh, we're focused. So focusing on inspiring philanthropy, um, managing our investments and sure. impacting the community. So on the inspiring philanthropy, that's really about partnering um, with individuals or com uh, companies um, to help them with their charitable interests. And that can be in many ways. That can be a one-time gift. Uh, it could be establishing a fund within the foundation, um, or it could even be part of our legacy society, which is essentially uh, leaving the community foundation as uh, listed within your will. Sure. Um, so lots of different options. Um, we manage those funds mm -hmm. uh, for the donors who set them up. And it really um, takes that complicated stuff out of their hands so exactly yeah as Ex much as possible is going back to the community or whatever they wish exactly to so to. in some cases some funds um, still might be completely um, led by that individual mm -hmm. or company or organization of course would go back to them um, in other cases it goes into what we call our greatest needs fund and that's where the foundation has a competitive grant award process mm -hmm. where we take in grant applications and then evaluate them based on uh, different need in the community or within our priority areas and award those to uh, organizations within the community. Right. 
and I know a big, I don't know what percentage, but you know, the scholarships nights at Grand Haven and Spring Lake are just huge in the yes. amounts of money that is being, um, you know, funneled to the kids for yeah. college. Scholarship is a large part of, of the Community Foundation and many donors have set up scholarship funds. So investing in students as they're entering into those post-secondary sure. careers or um, education. Um, or continuing that education is is a large part. So we've had those award ceremonies mm -hmm. also at Coopersville and Allendale, which are affiliates of the Grand Haven Area Community oh, okay. Foundation. And then the Excellence in Education, uh, which recognizes the top 10% mm -hmm. of each graduating class and allows those students the opportunity to select an educator that has had an impact on their education. Wow. So it's it could be anywhere from a kindergarten teacher to mm -hmm. a recent educator. So that's, yeah, that's amazing. a great a great way to recognize not only the students and what they've accomplished, but the school system and what they um, provide to the sure. students and, and the families mm -hmm. as well. So and it's really going back into the community. I mean, it's thanking the community and the schools for what they do and because those kids are going to be looking for jobs in our community. So Absolutely, and hopefully after they go off and, and get their education, they come back um, yep. or make an impact in whatever community they end up in. That's great. Um, so what is the kind of the trends in philanthropy right now? How is that looking? And uh, so there's there's a lot of different things um, that we're looking at. So looking at different generational giving um, and you know how to engage with the younger generation. Uh, impact investing is one area. So not only granting and awarding money to for for certain um, organizations, but investing in them. So th those are a couple of recent trends. Tell me about how the Community Foundation has made an impact in Northwest Ottawa County. Yep. We uh, facilitate grants and scholarships, um, as well as serve as a convener for community leaders uh, on issues of importance. Uh, for our grants, uh, we have six main priority areas or categories. We've got arts and culture, education, environment, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, mm -hmm. health and human services, and economic and community betterment. So pretty uh, substantial categories. Sure. Um, we partner with our donors uh, to help them be able to give back within those areas. So if somebody's interested, that's kind of how they categorize their request in one of those categories. Those are some of the general categories mm -hmm. and then if they want to give more specifically to a certain organization um, that's an option as well. And what do you want the foundation to be known for? Um, the impact it makes in the community. The Grand Haven Area Community Foundation has been around nearly 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been a partner Mm -hmm. um, in many ways with our donors, uh, those that give their time serving on our board, as well as leaders in the community. We are really here uh, to represent our community um, and anyone in it. Okay, and if somebody is interested in learning more about it, mm -hmm. how can they get involved? Sure, so our website to start, uh, ghacf.org. Uh, we've got a newsletter, follow us on social media, or pick up the phone and we'd be happy to meet with anyone. Right. And lastly, I think we've kind of talked about this, but what is the importance of people that really think philanthropy is, is a great thing to do and why should others do it? Giving back to the community and back to when our community foundation was established, it was 11 community members that came together to create an endowment. And the importance of philanthropy and the importance of that was to create something that would last forever. So the endowment we never touch, we only spend the, the interest essentially the, mm -hmm. that is made off of it and with the goal of continuing to grow that so it will be here forever for the community. Great. And one example of that is when you go down to the Waterfront St Stadium. Is yes. Lynn Sherwood, it was part of that. So, you Absolutely. know, 
when we're downtown, when we're a lot of places, a lot of that has come from the foundation. There have been many partnerships and many projects that the foundation has been part of um, with others in the community. Yeah. So it's it's about the community. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, I think we're out of time. So thank you okay. for being here and thank sharing with much. us a little bit about the foundation. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you later. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan.